day two Florence. What a day day one was. Filled with jet lag, delicious food, sleepless night, all of that good stuff. How are you feeling? Better. I am. Um... I had food poisoning or some sort of stomach thing halfway through the night or the morning. Whatever time yeah, I indigestion. Asleep. I wouldn't call it poisoning because. I... <laughs> <laughs> or the combination of tiramisu and seafood and wine. Wine and coffee did not agree with me. So Something. I'm feeling better, but today has been tough. <laughs> yeah. So what we decided to do today was take a walk to Michelangelo's Square where there's a beautiful view and a big parking lot and why do we care about parking lots? It's because the spiritual playboy here has purchased a drone so we are gonna go test out the drone for the first time actually it'll be the second time did a maiden voyage in Montreal just to understand controls and everything so this is gonna be our first flight somewhere where we're actually trying to record something nice for our videos so that's our plan for today nothing crazy but i feel like a boy on christmas morning <laughs> So we did two flights, uh, nervous as all hell, my hands are shaking. Um, so yeah, that was exciting and now we're going to try to check out some gardens and film from the gardens. Uh, you know, we don't know 100% the rules and, and so on, so everything is, uh, feels a bit risky. So we're like shooting and running, shooting and running. And now we are at Ponto Vecchio, the old bridge. And basically everything's closed right now, but usually all these stores are filled with gold and silver and jewelry shops, for example. So we're arriving at my favorite spot in Florence, the Palazzo Vecchio. This is, um, I think, linked to uh, the home of the Medici's who commissioned a lot of the Renaissance, who commissioned the Duomo 